All right, you guys, so today's video is another curriculum review for um, something that we use um, during our school year. And I can tell you right off the bat, this is a curriculum that will probably be around for a while. Um, I, I definitely foresee this being something that um, I can even use with my three-year-old for when he becomes of age. But okay, so um, before I get too ahead of myself, so the curriculum is Kate Snow's Kindergarten Math with Confidence. And if you're not familiar with my channel, we actually work through this same child of mine, actually worked through preschool math. Um, was it Math with Confidence too? What? It was pre. It was a preschool level math curriculum. Okay, I have it on my channel. I'll link it down below in case you want to know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen it yet. But we actually, so we we know or we're familiar with this um, this writer's style of uh, curriculum and how she does math, um, her layout for it. So one thing that I really liked about this curriculum is the fact that okay, we have four boys. I am technically only homeschooling my older two at the moment, like actively using uh, formal resources with them and things like that. The other two are, you know, they're kind of just in the mix. They're doing their own thing. They play and all that stuff. So I'm not using anything formal with them. So with that being said, I am still picky with curriculum in terms of prep and in terms of, you know, what I have to spend in addition to buying the curriculum itself and so pretty much i was looking for something um for my five-year-old to use that would be inexpensive in and of itself something that i didn't have to buy a ton of extra resources for if anything else was needed in addition to the curriculum itself i needed something that would help me to keep up with him meet him where he's at but also keep up with him so my five-year-old is pretty much like um by the time we got this curriculum this level he was already or yeah he was already able to do some first grade level work but i went ahead and got the kindergarten level just because i wanted to make sure um i touched on you know a variety of topics with him before moving completely into a first grade level math curriculum and so we um we worked our way through this i sat down i looked at the table of contents and i sifted out or marked that's why i have all these tabs i marked um all of the lessons that i knew he for a fact either never touched that topic never learned about it and so i wanted to make sure that before we did away with this book and moved on to some, something else that we touched on those topics. And another thing I did in order to keep him from getting bored um, with like the hounding of subject or topics that he's already been very familiar with and pretty much has mastered, I made sure to just do like a like a two five minute brush over of that that topic and just to make sure that he was getting you know a little review there but not so much to where he's like oh this curriculum is boring i already know this stuff can we move on and so yeah um that's just to kind of show you how i sort of had to set up this curriculum for us now the other thing that i really liked about this curriculum too i mentioned um buying outside resources resources in addition to the curriculum itself I really appreciated the fact that this curriculum comes with, and I still have some of the stuff in here, but it comes with an appendix. I didn't use some of the things because we had physical items that corresponded with them, but it came with like um, resources for you to actually just pull out of there. So this was the, um, the <laughs> my brain isn't working. So this is the frame, the tin frame um, that it came with. One of them, it comes with another one that's just the 10. This was the 20. And so I pulled the stuff out that I knew we would need and I laminated it, had it in a little storage bin, like with all of his, um, his manipulative type stuff that he needs for his lessons. I just kept it in there. And so whenever we sat down to do a lesson, I just pulled that bin out if something was needed out of there and... That was pretty much the extent of my prep. Easy peasy. 
um definitely came in handy because it if you have not homeschooled or sat down to do like a formal curriculum with a younger child just yet you have their attention span to consider and so if you're not prepared for their lessons or at least with my sons i've noticed that if i'm not prepare for our lessons properly or you know i'm trying to scramble around and get things together when it's lesson time i tend to lose them a lot quicker in our lesson time and so it really helped to have thing have things throughout this curriculum that we were just going to be using over and over again and i could just laminate throw it in a, a storage bin and i have his um pretty much like his math kit um that i could just pull out now another thing that i liked about this curriculum too so my son though he is um moving along at a, a quick pace when it comes to picking up um knowledge in regards to math his handwriting was not yet there and so i really like that this curriculum helped me to work with that and so this was his if you haven't seen like the flip through of these books yet on my channel i'll just show you briefly so this was the his workbook and so there's not a lot of writing. And so I actually didn't make him do all the pages out of here. So like for some of these types of pages, instead of him writing out of here, I would actually just copy the um, equations onto a dry erase board and I would let him write on there or I would call out the equation and he would write the um the answer on his his dry erase board. And so he was still getting in that handwriting practice or whatever, but then you know, it wasn't all done out of a workbook because that's one of my goals with him as well. I want to take um, a slower pace than I did with my oldest son. I don't want to rush him into sit down work like, um, you know, he still has a lot of energy and things like that. So I don't want to confine him to doing majority sit down book lesson, like workbook type stuff just yet. I want to make sure that um you know kind of going with the flow in terms of that and so yeah moving on now let's talk about the way that these topics are covered because i do think that it's important to really hone in on that when you're picking especially math curriculum for uh for younger kids depending you know depending on your child's personality and stuff their learning style and all that so keeping in style with her preschool math at home that's the name of it huh Got it. So keeping in style with that, the way that these topics are covered, I think it's set up really well to where you can really help your child to see the relationship between math and everyday life, like just everyday things. And that's something that at this age, I still want to make sure, well, I'm saying at this age, it's really just throughout, but that's something that I was looking for in a math curriculum for him as well. I didn't want just, um, you know, pages and pages of equations and um me fact memorization and things like that i wanted something a little bit more something that would be um more intertwined with daily life because i don't know about you guys but i'm not the mom to every time i'm in the kitchen pull my kids in the kitchen and you know make a math lesson out of that that's not me i would much rather leave um, cooking time with them just to be like us bonding and them learning from me and things like that. You know, I don't, I don't enjoy, um, turning kitchen time into a math lesson. Um, I know some people do fun curriculum isn't something that I specifically look for, um, to use with my kids, but I can say that this curriculum was actually fun for us to use. One reason why we will actually be sticking with, um, the math with confidence, um, curriculum for, um, uh, that child in particular, and I'm hoping to be able to use it for, my baby who's right after him as he gets older but the reason why we're sticking with it is because okay so for first grade i bought him i switched it up and i said well my oldest is doing math mammoth i like the way that that's set up let's try math mammoth with him because math mammoth has level one or grade one and so i bought it he's excited to to dig his heels into it and to you know start with the workbook and stuff like that but at the end of the day, after um, talking to him and showing him some things and us going through the lessons, I definitely feel that he connects more. Like this is more his style 
than math mammoth is i don't think he minds doing that curriculum but i think he would rather be doing this one and i did ask him what was it about this curriculum that he liked and he said it is fun and so for you know his five-year-old self that answer i think you know it it means a lot um <laughs> but um yeah he said it is fun and so we are going to be getting him first grade math with confidence and we will still have the math mammoth um to use for like extra practice and stuff like that but we will be sticking with this um this series because i really like it um now the other thing too before i hop off here i wanted to share so this book or this curriculum does have a book list she does recommend those books in this curriculum but they're not intertwined in the lessons you know like the, it's not like you read this book this math book of the week and the lesson for that week is based off of this book like it's not set up that way and so even if you didn't you know you say well hey we don't really care about the book list you can still use the curriculum you don't have to get the books it's not um set up to where you have to do that and so um hopefully this video wasn't you know too around around the way and all that hopefully you know i didn't miss anything i don't think i did i think i talked about everything i wanted to wanted to share about it but um yeah and in terms of cons of this uh curriculum to be honest as a, a homeschool parent not as a professional curriculum reviewer or anything like that as just a homeschool parent i actually do not have anything that i did not like about this curriculum i thought it was on point and i actually thought the same thing about preschool math at home she case snow just did a a phenomenal job at writing these curriculums to be quite honest i can't wait to get my hands on first grade uh, math with confidence and yeah so um i will leave probably at the end of this video a link to the flip through that i did of, of these books if you want to see like a detailed flip through um and i will leave down in the description box a link to my videos about preschool math at home if you want to see that um other than that i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching